This is the second time I filmed this. The first time it randomly deleted itself, which is a good start. Hi everyone. As you can probably tell, um, today I'm here to talk about my haunted house. Um, and I don't say that lightly. Um, I would consider myself a bit of a skeptic. And um, I have always been that way. However, um, since buying my house five years ago, there have been many unexplained events and um, things I just can't can't explain. Um, and so that's what I'm here to talk about today. Now, as I said in my intro, I've already filmed this once today, but it deleted itself, which, um, I mean, if that's not ominous, I don't know what it is. Why am I filming this outside? Well, I shall tell you. Because every time that you mention anything to do with the ghost or allude to the fact of anything that's happened in the house or point out any weird situations within the house, more things happen. And I explained this thoroughly in my in my last video, but like I say, it's deleted. So I'm just gonna have to wing it and try and get as much as I can get done as quickly as possible before it starts to rain again. Um, so basically what I said in my last video was that I bought a house five years ago. And the house, as you can see, um, I'll just, this is outside of my house. So I've come out and um, as you can see, I'm in the middle of nowhere. It's a really rural area. It's, um, there's, there's not a lot going on. And it's a very old house. It's actually over 200 years old. And for some reason, none of that resonated with me as being a potential haunted house situation. It just didn't, didn't dawn on me at all. I didn't think about it because it's just not the sort of thing I would have ever thought about. And I will say, I'm a skeptic and I would love to hear any explanations that you've got for any of these things that I'm going to talk about. And I will say that I'm not going to put everything in here that has happened because, wow, that would be a really long video. Um, there's been far too much in the past five years to be able to put in one video. So without further ado, I'm just going to get into it. So when I first moved into my house, it felt lovely, nothing happened. It was, it was peaceful, nothing, nothing, nothing occurred, nothing out of the ordinary. And um, it remained that way for a few months until I started decorating the house. And I found that to be a running theme. Any time that I do anything within the house or, yeah, any time that I sort of mess with the house, things start to happen. And this is another reason why I'm so skeptical because I always thought haunted houses were haunted all of the time. Um, whereas my house, something will happen, like a trigger an event to the house, it will happen. And then I will have a week of bizarre, really over the top, horror movie-esque situations for a week, um, or maybe a little bit more, you know, give or take a week. Then there'll be nothing for a month or two, and then something else will happen. And it'll go on for a week, nothing for a week, something else for and then another week. Do you know, it's sort of on again, off again, and it goes away for sort of random periods of time, so you can never guess when it's gonna happen. It's just one day, you come downstairs in the morning and it begins, or you're woken up in the night by your bedroom door opening, which is horrific, um, and it begins from there. I think the, the best way to start with this is the beginning. And um, the first experience I ever had within my house that I would consider a, a ghostly experience was an extreme experience. So that's another thing as well. I always thought haunted houses would start with sort of random noises in the night, you know, little little things and then maybe build up. But no, this 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 went hard right from the very beginning. So I started to decorate the house. And when I first moved into the house, I was living there alone with my with my then very small daughter. Um, and my other half was commuting because he lived because he was working down south and we'd moved um, to Scotland. So, um, the first thing that happened was, if you can see this lane, this is the lane I come down on a night time with my dogs. The last thing I do with them at night is walk them down the lane, let them do a wee, go back in there and um, lock everything up and go to bed. And this night I was down here letting the dogs out and it was pitch black. You, you can see there's no street lights or anything like that. We're like, we're in the middle of nowhere. Um, there was no street lights, nothing like that, so it was, it's dark, it's dark at night and um, the only light that I ever have is my torch from my iPhone. And I don't know, I just I had this feeling, this feeling of unease, like I just felt weird, like scared but I wasn't sure what of. And, and so I finished what I was doing and headed back up to the house and went in and you enter into the kitchen. As I entered the kitchen, that's when I realised that things weren't 
things weren't quite right. And what had happened was that every single cupboard door in my kitchen was open. I knew this wasn't me and I was more than, more than scared. I was perplexed and I thought there might be someone in the house so I took the dogs around the house sort of letting them go run around the house and see if there was anybody there but after a search there was there was no one in the house there was just me and, and my baby at the time so my mind didn't immediately go to ghosts I just I wasn't sure what happened I was really frightened but I wasn't sure what happened and um, I just closed all of the cupboard doors and went to bed and that was the first thing the first thing that ever happened and from there it it continued. I mean, that wasn't the last time that my cupboard doors have been open. That is now a regular occurrence. You go downstairs and in the morning the cupboard doors are open. So a couple of nights later, I was woken to the sound of my cats running up and down the stairs, which might not sound like it would be something that would alert you to something being untoward. However, I have a lot of pets. I've got a few cats, a few dogs, and they all play in the night together a lot. So in order to stop this, I now lock my cats and my dogs separate at night. The dogs go on one side and the dogs will happily relax together and go to sleep and the cats will relax together and go to sleep. But put them together and they will play and brawl and do all sorts of things all night. So the cats go in their cat room, as I call it, um, which is a few rooms back over at the back of the house and um, they get, obviously obviously all the pets get water and um, they're not just locked into a darkened room at night. But um, I, put my, I put my cats to bed every night, I put my dogs to bed every night and everybody stays there till morning. And um, then I go through all the house, shut all of the doors, and I should say that this is a, obviously a very old house. And the doors are really thick, and they're very hard to open. Sometimes um, one of the doors, especially downstairs, I've got to give a little bit of a shoulder to to get to open in the morning. So I shut all of these doors at night and um, go back, go upstairs and go to bed. So to hear my cats playing on the staircase, that was pretty alarming. So I opened the door and all of the lights were on and my cats were running up and down the stairs. The only people in the house at the time were me and my toddler. Now she was in the bed next to me asleep so it, so it was just me who had shut the doors at night and gone to bed. Now I do this every single night, I have done this for years, it's just second nature, it's just it's what I do every single night, religiously I do it. And um, somehow during the sort of short period of time it had taken me between going to bed and getting, being woken up by this. All of the doors downstairs were open and all of the pets were running around. Just to give you an idea, that's seven heavy doors, well wide open, seven of them. Open, pets running around, all the lights on um, and yeah, I know I turned everything off, I'd shut everybody up and um, so at that point I started to get a little bit freaked out because now, now this wasn't it wasn't just cupboard doors. I couldn't think. I've absentmindedly just opened the doors, even though I, I wouldn't be. But I was trying to rationalise it. <sighs> now my pets are getting let out at night. And again, this isn't the only time that that has happened. Um, the pets have been let out several times since then. The doors have been opened several times since then. I've even heard the door open. There's a door downstairs that makes a creak. And you've got to push it to open it. And there's times I've been in bed and I've heard it. And the feeling of lying in the dark, in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the night, and hearing a door open downstairs, I can't describe it to you, but it does something, it heightens all of your senses, it does something to you that I, I just don't know. I just, I can't explain the feeling that I get when that happens. It is awful. As the years have gone by, I've now had another baby, and, uh, and my other half has found a job up here now, so he's no longer commuting. And my baby, my little baby who was there from the beginning, she's now nearly six and um, she sees things occasionally. And since moving in, my other half's had a lot of experiences himself, um, separate to mine. He's had scarier things happen to him than I've had. Um, and I might talk about them in another video, but um, as of now, I'll just stick to a couple of the things that have happened to me. So once that started happening, um, things quickly escalated. I seeing shadows and shapes I'm, I'm freaking myself out because I know I'm talking about the ghost and I always make a rule that I won't talk about the ghost but I'm outside and um, <laughs> the house is all the way up there so it shouldn't it shouldn't hear me hopefully but it does seem to get worse when you talk about it which is why I'm now filming this on my phone and I'm gonna edit it out here and I'm gonna upload it from out here because I refuse to do it in the house I just took my phone in the house before after filming this and the whole footage deleted everything from it so anyway, carrying on. So at night, that's when things sort of come alive, if you will. Um, if we have, if we're having what what we now sort of 
loosely called Haunt Week, um, where things go wrong for about a week, like I've said, um, and then things go back to normal. Um, you will start hearing things at night, you'll wake up in the middle of the night and you'll feel this this feeling, it's like a sixth sense, and unless you've experienced something like this, you won't know what I'm talking about and it won't make sense. But there is this feeling of, of just dread. So you wake up in the middle of the night and nothing might have happened for months, so you're feeling perfectly comfortable, but it's pitch black in here at night. And you wake up and you just feel it, you can feel this energy, something isn't right, and um, that's when you might get up to go to the loo or something, you go downstairs in the bathroom and all of the taps will be on, the bath will be on, because that is another thing that it likes to do. So um, the taps will all turn on in the bathroom. You'll sometimes hear that, you'll be sat on the sofa if you're up really late, and you can hear the squeak of the tap go, and the tap is switched on. And when you're the only person in the house, there is no, there's just no, there's no explanation. And I really want an explanation, so if you have one, please share it, because I just want to feel safe. <laughs> Voicing all of this out loud makes me realise just how scary my house is, and um, yeah, it sounds a lot worse when I'm saying it all in a one because not everything has happened all at once, you know, I get like a sort of, a little, a few weeks reprieve now and then, um, and I just don't want to move out. One of the worst things that I think has happened to me was um, I was with my daughter and I was putting her to bed and we listen to audiobooks on a night time when she's going to bed a lot of the time so we lie in the dark and um, we just listen to the audiobook and she drifts off, I switch the audiobook off and then go do whatever I'm going to do in the evening. And so um, if you imagine that where this is the bed so I'm just lying in the bed here and um, my daughter was on this side of me and I was just here and this is the side of the bed. There was a loud, there was a very loud bang um, on my side of the bed. So I knew there should be nothing there banging so I, I turned the light on and by this point my heart was going and I, I just, it was during haunt week as, I, as we call it so I was scared and at the side of the bed was was my daughter's lamp and um, I'm just trying to figure out how I can, the, so the, the lamp should have been, say this is the bed and I'm lying like this facing you, my feet are towards you, um, the lamp should have been down at the bottom of the bed, right all the way down to the bottom and past the bed and on the wall at this side, on my daughter's side. So if the lamp had fallen from the wall, it should have hit down somewhere, down down, down yonder um, at the foot of the bed and um, it had landed here. And that, that was one of the scariest moments of my life and um, I slept with the light on for a week after that, I'm not going to lie. I was really frightened and that just felt so sinister to me when my little girl was in the room and we were lying there and somehow this lamp has come off the wall and very quietly come by and then smashed on the floor beside me that was scary and my daughter didn't sleep in that room for a while after that um i brought her in with me and i was yeah yeah <laughs> um that yeah that that was that was that was something to behold i'm often woken up in the nights by my dogs growling at things barking at things, nothing is there. The cats, which are really friendly, will randomly skits out at nothing and run into the room and start growling and hissing at nothing. I've since had another baby. Every now and then he'll start watching something. He can't talk yet, but every now and then he'll start watching something. 3 a.m. window knocks. That was another one that went on for a while. That's stopped. That's not actually not happened. That mustn't have happened for over a year now, but what did start happening was at around 3 a.m. every morning I was woken by what sounded like banging on my window. Now, I mean, as you can see, I live in the middle of nowhere. If something's banging on my window, that is that is scary as F. I don't want to be messing with that. So I've never opened the, the blind or anything to have a look because I've been too frightened. But I sleep on the top floor. So for someone to be at my window, they've had to have put a ladder up the side of the house. Be out here. You know, they've had to be out here with a ladder. And be up at my window so I mean that that I mean I don't know what's worse that or a poltergeist really so 3 a.m. it sounds like someone palm in the window so it's like bang 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 like that um, and as soon as you sit up in bed it stops it stops immediately no more noises 3 a.m. every time and I didn't tell this to my other half because I kept telling him this was when so I kept telling him things that were happening and I was thinking he's thinking I'm crazy uh, I keep saying that ghosty things are happening and until he'd moved in and started experiencing it himself you know um, I think he probably thought I'd lost the plot however there was one night when he was here and it happened and um, he sat up in bed and he said what the hell was that what's that what's hitting the window did you hear it and I said yeah you've um, you've heard it and he went what do you mean you've heard it I explained it all to him and um, 
yeah I, I don't think he believed anything was going on at first but then there have been as I say a lot more things have happened when he's been there there's been things that we've both seen with our own eyes um, and so eventually eventually I am um, contacted the seller and I asked her this is gonna sound like a really crazy question but is the house haunted and she messaged straight back and she said oh you know I, I was wondering if you'd say anything about it yeah it is um, I've seen ghosts I've seen people walking around I've seen things happen there's been a lot happened over the over the 20 years that I lived there I mean cheers for that cheers for the heads up if you're watching this thanks thanks for that a lot um, so I will say I haven't seen any people walking around I haven't she said that in her message that she'd seen figures and she mentioned certain rooms that she considers to be more haunted than others and um, lo and behold those are the rooms that we have actually noticed a lot more activity um, but like I say I haven't actually seen anything I haven't seen any figures thank God um, but my, my daughter sees things um, which is yeah but I mean I love my house so we haven't moved I don't want to move I love my house Another weird thing is I keep my fridge not in my kitchen. Bizarre, I know. But my fridge is actually three or four rooms back over. Yeah, three or four rooms back over. And um, every night before I go to bed, I always make sure the benches are all wiped down in my kitchen. Everything's all clean and tidy and ready for the morning because I don't like getting up to, to mess from the night before. So every night I do that. And I got up one morning and I'd left my laptop charging in the kitchen. So I'd wiped all the benches down, put my laptop on charge, plugged it in, gone upstairs. And... Um, when I came down, my laptop wouldn't switch on and I just couldn't for the life of me figure out what it was. I picked up my laptop and underneath my laptop was a pool of milk. And like I say, the fridge is three or four rooms back over. The benches are cleaned down. And uh, before, after I'd cleaned all the benches down, that's when I put my laptop down and um, I would have noticed a big random pool of milk in the middle of the benches and my laptop was in it. My laptop was broken and um, if you remember, Thought I heard something there, freaking out. I've scared myself. I am hearing something. It's gonna be just squirrels, but I'm really scaring myself. Um, <laughs> right, yeah, like I say, I'm, I'm out here alone. So um, yeah, if, if I get murdered, it'll, I mean, think of the views. But um, <laughs> The, yeah, my laptop was broken. So if you remember a period a little while ago, if you follow my channel, um, where I, I couldn't upload because I didn't have a, a laptop. That's why my laptop was found submerged in milk randomly. Um, and that day, that wasn't all that happened. There was a lot happened. Um, two random pennies dropped behind me in the bathroom. So I went in the bathroom, I broke the rule. So the rule of the house is don't mention the ghost in the house and I broke the rule. So once I found my laptop submerged in milk, I went into the bathroom and I was furious and I sent a voice message to my other half through WhatsApp. And I was saying, it's gotta be a ghost. My laptop's, it's gotta be a ghost. The milk was three or four rooms away and it's my laptop submerged in milk. And as I said that, there was two ding, ding behind me. I turned around and on the floor were two coins two two pence coins on the floor behind me on my bathroom floor had just fallen behind me and I just I can't explain it I really can't actually the thing there is actually a thing with two pences there's been nights I've woken up after feeling something hit my bed and there's two pences in my bed or pennies in my bed I mean couldn't be throwing 10 pound notes at me because it has to be like two pences I wouldn't be complaining so much if I was waking up and finding 10 pound notes but it's it's pennies um arrive on the bed and my daughter's found pennies uh, found on her bed and it's just ugh, it's weird um it's very very weird so um yeah that is um some of the haunted things that have gone on in my house and um if you'd like to know more let me know because I could I could go on like this for hours hours there's been so much has happened um so if you're interested let me know and I will film another video and let you know some of the other things that have happened so I'm gonna go and um, edit this upload this and get warm and hopefully this doesn't delete because if it deletes again I'm gonna lose it <laughs> so let me know if this has ever happened to you and I'll speak to you all soon bye for now